The Miami Dolphins coaching staff and front office spent last week in Indianapolis for the NFL Combine and while the future of quarterback Tua Tagovailoa was the main topic, it wasn't the only important one, Tagovailoa, who suffered diagnosed concussions on two occasions last season and missed four games, is eligible to have his fifth-year option picked up, but the deadline is May 1st, when he was healthy. Tagovailoa had Miami's offense among the league's most productive, but there are areas that needed to be addressed if the Dolphins are going to take the next step and become Super Bowl contenders, general manager Chris Greer and coach Mike McDaniel discussed those concerns in Indy. Still no decision on Tua, McDaniel and Greer reiterated their stance that Tagovailoa will be the team's starter in 2023. Both even took it a step further and proclaimed their desire to keep him long-term, it's important to recognize that we have a congruence of interest by the Dolphins and the player, McDaniel said. That both parties really want him to play at a very high level for a long time for the Miami Dolphins, so what's the best way to really engineer that or to help manifest that? Well, those are the things that we're kind of weighing in terms of the various options with the same desired end, result, as Tua would like, interestingly enough, neither McDaniel nor Greer committed to exercising Tagovailoa's fifth-year option. While Tagovailoa's injury concerns are prevalent after missing nine games over the past two seasons, Greer said they won't deter the Dolphins from engaging on a long-term extension when the time comes. It's not something that is going to make us afraid to do something long-term with him, Greer said. The one thing he's had, he's been banged up, but he always comes back and bounces back and plays hard and performs, so excited for his future. Excited for watching him doing all the work he's been doing in the offseason right now to prepare for 2023, and he's very excited to get back on the field with his teammates. Another interesting tidbit, Greer didn't shut down the possibility of extending Tagovailoa this offseason, but it would appear unlikely the team does so considering he is yet to play a full season without being injured. Offensive line still a work in progress, the Dolphins made major additions to their offensive line. Last season, signing left tackle Taron Armstead and center Connor Williams to what was the worst pass-blocking team in the NFL in 2021, their line improved in 2022 but was decimated by injuries throughout the season, notably to Armstead, right tackle Austin Jackson and left guard Liam Eikenberg. Rather than making more splashy moves this offseason, the Dolphins are focused on getting their starters healthy and adding depth, for us, it's continuing to add depth at that position and the competition and create spots, Greer said. The guys made tremendous strides last year. You guys have heard Mike and, offensive coordinator, Frank Smith talk about how happy he is with the development of some of the young players. Obviously like with Austin, he just needs to stay healthy so we can get a full evaluation of him, but with Connor, Liam, right guard, Robert Hunt and obviously Terran, we feel we have a good core of guys right there to start with. Miami fired offensive line coach Matt Applebaum last month and hired Butch Berry, who will be the Dolphins' sixth offensive line coach in the past five seasons. McDaniel said the decision had a lot to do with Smith's responsibilities, I really needed to get more offensive coordinator work out of Frank Smith, and he was devoted a little too much to the offensive line, McDaniel said. And I needed more, selfishly, to alleviate some stuff off my plate, and so that was the motivating factor to make that move, was to facilitate Frank Smith being able to appropriate his time more as a coordinator and less in the offensive line room, running back reunion, the Dolphins have precisely zero running backs under contract for the 2023 season. It's their most obvious position of need, Greer did not rule out re-signing last season's leading rushers, Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson, particularly because of their relationship with McDaniel and the fact that Miami traded a fifth-round pick for Wilson last season, we're very open to those guys coming back. We've talked about that scenario where they may be back, Greer said. We may have the same backfield back next year. Obviously, they're free agents, and that'll play a part of it, but we'd be very excited to have them back, Greer has only drafted one running back in the third round or earlier since becoming the Dolphins' general manager in 2016, taking Kenyon Drake with the 73rd overall pick in 2016. Despite his history, Greer said Miami isn't in position to pass up on any good player in the draft, 
when asked what he's looking for as Miami rebuilds its running backs room, McDaniel said their skill set isn't as important as their mentality. First and foremost from the running back position on our team, you need a team player that's willing to do whatever it takes to win, McDaniel said. We have good players surrounding the running back position, so you've got to be willing to pass block and do things off the ball.